We welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. Just a moment ago, the Bulldogs from Athens, Georgia. They come into this encounter having lost 15 of the lost 17 games, last 17, against these Florida Gators. They toss. Marino comes left, gets a good block, and he's inside the 35. Around the outside, it's reminiscent of the plays that Auburn used against Florida when they controlled the clock. Stafford draw play. Marino, nice spin move, and he picks up nine to the 20. Well, Mark Richt has uh, an exemplary Accomplishment. Oh, look at this. Marino, who's an excitable red shirt freshman. He's in his seventh season. And off Marino. They keep it on the ground. Marino comes left. Huge hole. First and goal, Georgia at the three. LSU and Auburn did it with power. Sutherland just lifts the linebacker that time, Ryan Stamper and carries Marino down into scoring. High formation again, power to the left side on third and goal. Marino up over the top, did he break the play? Yes, Georgia, touchdown. And here comes the entire team, watch this, for excessive celebration. We may have 15 hankies in the air on this one. I can't believe this. This was planned. This was absolutely planned. Mark Rick decided that he is going to try to fire his team up. He's tired of Florida having the psychological advantage. He's willing to give up the penalty. Look at that. That was a planned move. Well, they are reviewing the well, play. To what see if, if it's he... reversed? <laughs> <laughs> And did he break the plane? The answer is yes. Would that be something? Thomas Brown might be back against Auburn. Here's the handoff. Marino cuts to his left, bangs down at all of the Lutheran Church, and they could not get over the North Dakota State loss. Here's a third down. Right side. Pass caught. First down. That's Marino out of the backfield. Quick out to the outside. You got a running back. Nice stick. Puts his left foot in the ground. Very sharp throw. Now Stafford emulates Tebow. There's a direct snap right side. No Sean Marino. And he gouges out yardage to the 41-yard line. Stafford flips it out right side. Marino cuts back inside. He's got a first down. You'll see him. He's got the back. Marino, look at Cunningham have to stop. Cannot make the play. Good block on spikes. And Marino shows you that flash and dash. Here's Trip Chandler, the tight end. They hand it off to Marino. He comes right, tests the middle. This is Sutherland in motion. Inside handoff, Marino tries to dart outside. Nothing there. He'll make something. And he plunges for the goal line. Touchdown, Georgia. You have to be tough, you have to be physical, and you have to be aggressive. And they have been all three. It's a draw one way. It's stopped. Marino bounces off, goes the other way. What? A exhilarating run. Does he get in? I think so. I did, too. He sticks his left hand down and puts the ball over the line. And I want you to be aggressive from the very first play, and let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe and see what happens. Here's the handoff to Noshan Marino. Breaks the first tackle. Penalty for taunting, so 30 yards marked off on the kickoff, but... Well worth it for Georgia. Here's Marino into the secondary and cut down at the 44. Joyner comes, does not close real tight, and that allows that little hole inside of Tony Joyner. Beautiful run with your eyes. Stafford hands it off. Marino, whoa, what a force he's been. Now the chase. There's an angle, and he's knocked out of bounds, but it'll be first and goal. Kyle Jackson caught up with him how slow he comes up 
that was an eraser play last year. This year, there's no eraser and gashed. Good blocking, great running. Moreno back in this football game. He'll ride him again. He does a nice spin move, breaks a tackle, and darts out to the 48. Have been problems for Florida. Here's the toss to Marino. He breaks into the open, and he's got another first down, Georgia. With that type of a cushion, somebody inside busted on that coverage, allowing the first down, and now... He'll get it again. He goes left again. He's to the five. First and goal, Georgia. Run left. That has been the game plan. Run Marino left, I should add. Against this Florida team. Here's Stafford. Marino. Got it. Touchdown, Georgia. And they lead by 11. They are reviewing the play upstairs. Second effort. This has been the story of the game for this guy. Did he get his the football across the line before his knees touched or his elbows touched? First look, we said yes. There's the football. No Sean Marino, 178 yards, three touchdowns. So he's had back-to-back -back games now that uh, operate on either side of the open week. 157 and 100. 78. Third down, high formation. 90 seconds to go. Here back in August, here's the head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. Those are bad shorts. But that's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice high dive. He led his team, let's be honest. He challenged them, he told them how to do it, and he said, you better be aggressive because if you back down, they'll roll over you. He had a great coaching game. Mark Richt, Tim Tebow, Matthew Stafford, first meeting between these two outstanding quarterbacks, ranked in the top three among high school recruits, the one from Highland Park in Dallas, that would be Matthew Stafford, the other from Nice High in St. Augustine, this was a homecoming game for Tim. He's seen so many of these games with his family, but as a starting quarterback, he fails to lead his team to victory because in part of the bruised shoulder. Now it's time for the Ruby Tuesday player of the game. No question about this one. No Sean Marino, 33 carries, 188 yards.